Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I will show you how to import 3D scans from museums for free into Blender and then how to render them. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by going to the link in the description, which uh, is a uh, Sketchfab page, which uh, has a lot of uh, different museum pieces, most of them free. And um, these, for example, are uh, all free to use Creative Commons files, which you can download and then import into Blender. And most of these models are 3D scanned models from uh, many different museums. And I will show you how we can import them and then use the textures as well in the scene. In terms of uh, free museum pieces for Blender, I would say that uh, Sketchfab and uh, the uh, Thomas Flynn account has one of the greatest collections of um, great, great museum pieces, especially like the uh, Pyramid Schemes collection, which has a lot of 3D scanned uh, pieces from uh, ancient Egypt. And I'm going to select one of these uh, models and import them into Blender. Almost all of these files has the same uh, types of uh, compression and the folder setup. So once you know how to import one of them, you will know how to import all of them, basically. So uh, let's uh, choose uh, this one, for example. And then let's download the 3D model. And as you can see, it's free. So just click download model. And then the OBJ file, which is the standard for uh, object files, 3D object files. And then let's open the folder. And then let's uh, unzip it. And then we need to select the uh, folder for the uh, object as well, the source, and then unzip that folder as well, so that we get the .obj file. And then go to Blender, and let's press X to delete the default cube. And then go to Import, and then OBJ. And then select the uh, folder where we downloaded the uh, file. And then select the uh, unzipped folder, and then the source, and then the unzipped folder, and then select the .obj file. And as you can see, we press S, we have the file inside Blender. So now we need to add the texture and lighting as well. So let's start off by setting the uh, geometry to origin. Okay, so when we go into rendered view, you can see that there is uh, no texture and barely any light. So we need to go back to solid view. Let's switch to cycles to get a better result. And then let's set the number of samples to maybe 200 or 300. And uh, then we need to select the light and turn it into a sun, which uh, works fine for uh, a model like this one. So let's set the strength to three. And then press R to rotate. And then R, then set to rotate it on the Z axis. And as you can see, we have some basic lighting. Now let's select the uh, model, go into the materials, and then let's add an image texture. And then we can go to the folder for the model. and then select the uh, texture, the image, and then open. And as you can see, we have the texture. Now let's make the uh, background completely black. So go to the world settings and make it completely black, which I think looks a bit better. We can also rotate the sun on the Z axis. So let's select the light, and press R, then set. And um, let's select the uh, object and play around with the material. 
So uh, we can start off by changing the metallic value, which uh, gives the skin a little bit of uh, glow. And we can also uh, change the roughness of the uh, shader. But I think that's okay for now. And uh, let's also add a subdivision surface modifier, which increases the number of polygons. And uh, then let's add smooth shading as well. And then the next step is to set up the camera. So press numpad 0 to uh, look through the camera. And then press N, and then view, and lock camera to view. And then you can use the mill mouse button to uh, look around. So something like this should be fine. And then once you have everything set up, we can uh, render. So uh, to render, go to render, and then render image. And there you have the render. Okay, and if you want to download more models, I recommend uh, taking a look at the different collections at uh, Sketchfab. And you can also search for a museum in uh, the uh, Sketchfab library. Let's type in uh, museum. And then make sure to select downloadable, which means that you can download them. And most of these are free. So uh, there's a, a great selection for uh, adding historical pieces into Blender for rendering. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.